have a good time. Put a smile on your face, yeah. Keep me caring. Elation Radio. Mm-hmm. Even brighten your day and help you through the night. Bring you good music. Keep me caring. Elation Radio. And here's your host. Dawn Westbrook. Join me on Shabbat Saturday here at Elation Radio at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, where we Shabbat the Lord and declare the word of the Lord over your life for this hour. Shalom. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Give me a heart that is soft as a whisper, a heart that is tender, that was none other than our very own minstrel anointed, amen. I like to say appointed, glory to God, awesome woman of God. And we do thank the Lord for her sharing that song with the body of Christ. It is totally inspirational to me because that is where I'm at right now, people of God. We are living in a day and a time where the rubber meets the road. And you have to be in this for real. Amen. There is no more pretending or playing church. Glory to God. Because the Spirit of the Lord is certainly exposing the hearts of men and women. Amen. Particularly leadership. 
and and we want him to expose our hearts so that it brings him glory. <laughs> Hallelujah. And that is truly a witness to his people. Amen. I'm so grateful, amen, for this platform. And if you hear me say amen a lot, it's because I'm agreeing with the Holy Ghost. I believe that the Spirit of the Lord is able to speak to us, amen, in this day and time. Hallelujah. Because we hear his voice and the voice of a stranger, we will not follow. Amen. So thank you, Jesus. I'm so, so, so very honored and grateful again to be on this platform. I do not take it lightly when the Spirit of the Lord gives you an opportunity to show up. Amen. Then we need to be present and ready. And I'm very grateful. And so that's why I come here to Shabbat him every Saturday, because you know what? We were created, one, to worship him. The scripture says in throughout Psalms, praise ye the Lord. Amen. Did you know that? Especially in Revelations 4.11, it says, you are worthy, O Lord, our God, to receive glory and honor and power. Hallelujah. He created all things, and by his will, they exist and were created. We were created to worship. And our Lord and our God, how excellent is his name in all the earth is what the scripture says. Amen. So we come here today in anticipation. When we release his name in the atmosphere, he said that he would inhabit the praise of his people. Amen. And certainly, There is a word today for you, but particularly the word is hallelujah. Bless his name. Lift up his name, his name that is above every other name, people of God. Take that literally. Amen. His name is above every other name. So we bless his holy name and Shabbat him. We bless his name, hallelujah, in this space called Shabbat Saturday on this platform, and we praise his wonderful and majestic name that is Elohim, our God and creator, Adonai, our Lord and master who is self-existing, always present, always revealed in Jesus. His name is Jehovah Jireh, amen, the one who sees and meets all of our needs and provides, glory to God. Jehovah Rapha, our healer, who sent his word and healed me and is able to heal you and forgive you of all of your sins and iniquities. Amen. He can heal all of your disease and disease. And he's the one who is able to make our bitter experiences sweet. Listen, I'm not just saying pretty words. That is a reality in the kingdom of God. He is Jehovah Sikkenu, our righteousness, and Jehovah Mekadis, our sanctifier, who has set you and I apart. Glory to God. And he is Jehovah Shalom. Oh, my God, how important is that in this hour? The one who is able to mount guard and over our minds and over our hearts in all of this chaos. He is our peace, a peace of God that transcends all of our understanding. We were created to worship him in all that he is, in all of his Majesty and splendor, hallelujah. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Well, this is your host of Shabbat Saturday. I am Apostle Dawn, amen, also known as P.D. Westbrook. And that's what we do every Saturday when we come on this platform and show up. And we welcome you for stopping by and listening in on this this, this Saturday, amen, this beautiful Saturday in the hills of West Virginia, glory to God. And wherever you are, we are going to give God all the glory on this Shabbat Saturday. And we are thankful and grateful for the privilege to come before you today. Truly, no one else gets the glory or compares with God you, Jesus. And so we acknowledge, Father God, amen, that we are sinful creatures without you, amen, and we ask you to cleanse our hearts 
You forgive us of all of our sins, and we are not ashamed to declare publicly that we need you, Father God, and can't do this without you. So I pray for a fresh enablement, a fresh empowerment of the Holy Spirit. Amen. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory now and forever. Amen and amen. We have been given the authority, people of God, to speak and say some Saturday to our awesome God. And so we come to encourage you, our listening audience, because this day, I say this every Saturday, because every Saturday that I can come here on this platform, amen, it is a good thing. Amen. I am above the ground and not beneath it. Glory to God. And you should be uh, praising him and, and exalting his name for the same reasons. Are you breathing? Hallelujah. This is the day, and we will rejoice and be glad in it. The joy of the Lord is our strength, and he has given us such joy and excitement for living. Hallelujah. So we shabbat the Lord today. We give God all the glory. Hallelujah. And again, we are so thankful. Well, if you remember last week, I shared, for those who are with us, amen, about this this whole state of being in in a worrying and being frantic in this fast-paced world, amen, and being easily offended and filled, amen, with such anxiety and worry and and, and this is just craziness just looming around us, amen? And people are simply worrying too much. Others have become abusers of drugs, amen, not just illegal drugs, but abusing over-the-counter drugs because of them worrying and stress. Oh, my God, today, even I had contend with stress, amen, to the point that it was affecting my physical ability, amen, just to, to, to have a natural movement, amen. Worry is, is something that is affecting all of us. I'm seeing that from the pulpits uh, to psychiatric beds to hospitals to schools and even graves, amen. Some people are going to early graves because of worrying and anxiety. And again, sometimes, and I'm coming to believe, yes, most of the time, we just need to take a breath. Be still and know that he is God. Jesus addressed this all-important issue of worry. Remember the, the, the Sermon on the Mount? He has a better way, people of God. And I think the Lord had a lot to say about this issue of worry. Remember, there is nothing that is not known by the Father. Glory to God. And he's trying to get our attention. When the situation literally has fallen on you, and yes, God likes to say, listen, I am God. He is not schizophrenic. He is not missing in action. He is not AWOL. He is still on the throne. Amen. He is still sovereign. Amen. And the word, the word says that, A, glory to God, he has the whole world in his hands. Here we are in this post-pandemic, and folks are worried about the strain, the strain, and the monkeypox. Here we are worrying about sons and daughters, if they're going to make it home, amen, and we're worrying about housing and gas prices rising, and we're worrying about people losing their jobs, and oh, let me add, and people losing their minds. I'm here to remind you, oh, my God, today, I'm here to remind you that you don't have to live as a warrior. Worry is not your portion. You are a victor, is what the word of God says. We are more than conquerors, is what the word of God says. We triumph always in Christ Jesus, is what the word of God says. People are worried more than ever before. I contend that this word is going to be a fresh and relevant word for you tonight if you are in a place of anxiety or worry. Amen. Just as fresh as 2,000 years ago. And you too can be set free. Hey, glory to God. And walk in your deliverance 
glory to God, and you can be victorious over the spirit of worry tonight. The Bible says in Matthew 6:34, therefore do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about its own things. Sufficient for the day is its own trouble. Don't worry about your life, what you shall eat and what you shall drink and what you 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 know what you shall wear. Amen. What is that? The Spirit of the Lord is telling us, don't worry about food, water, and shelter. And yes, I know that there are people that have children that are listening to me and they're probably saying, well, what about my kids? Listen, certainly he's able, if, and I must paraphrase, if he's able to take care of you and those things that concern you is what the scripture says, don't you think that he's able to take care of your children and provide for what they may need in the name of Jesus? You have a lot of these people going forth and say, well, you've got to store up and you've got to have that and you've got to have this. Listen, there are some people that don't have the resources to have those things. What do they do? Well, I'm reminded that the Lord raised up a man of God who was able to save the whole world. The Lord let him be steward, and I call this kingdom distribution, amen, that he was able to bring provisions to the whole world, glory to God, and I'm talking about Joseph. And then I think about a prophet within the days of a famine that he called, glory to God, and said that there would be no rain, yet the Lord still provided for him. And then I think about the children of Israel who walked in a desert, come on now, 40 years, yet they were fed every day. Sometimes we need to look beyond our natural, hallelujah, and let the Spirit of the Lord get involved so he can put his super on our natural. Listen, I'm not talking about stuff falling from the, from the sky. I'm not silly like that, but I know and I have experienced and seen for myself that the Spirit of the Lord can lay it on someone's heart, amen, to be a Joseph to you, glory to God. You do not, child of God, you do not need or have to become unglued or allow yourself, oh, wait, wait a minute, Holy Spirit, just say, not just you children of God, but also you that do not know him yet, my God, today, for he was sent for the law. So this word is for you, too. You have to trust God and not allow yourself to be unraveled, amen, or become unglued at the seam of your mind and be torn into two different directions and go goofy in the name of Jesus. Refuse to allow dread to occupy your thoughts. In this hour, the word of God says, let this mind, you have to let it. Do you hear what I'm saying? You have to let this mind be in you that was in Christ Jesus. You have to resist the devil and all of his thoughts and imaginations. Amen. And the word of God says, therefore, to God, resist the devil. And he will flee from you. Glory to God. He will, people of God. When you put your thoughts and your minds on our Savior and our Lord, who is our provider, glory to God, who is able to make the crooked places straight on your behalf, who will bring you out in the name of Jesus, hallelujah, and move you to your next in Jesus' name, hallelujah. Listen. God will bring you to a place where you just don't worry about it anymore. I am a witness, and that is not a Pollyanny thought. I have seen the manifestation when I have let him take it. Hallelujah. When I put it on the altar and I don't pick it up again, my God, today, within 72 hours, 40, 48 hours, amen, I see provisions being made. I see somebody just happen to change their mind. I see a door that was opened, amen, that was previously closed because I put the situation, the person, hallelujah, the circumstance in the hand of God. He is well able, people of God. And I know that the Spirit of the Lord is saying, you shall watch 
in awe, my daughter, as I consume the plan that has been assigned to destroy you by the enemy. Listen, that is for somebody else that's listening now. You belong to the Father. You are his beloved. Do not allow dread to occupy your mind and and put you in a place of worry and anxiety, my God. Do you not understand that these are the very seeds that bring forth the manifestation of illness and disease and disease in Jesus' name? Don't even go there. Take on the challenges of each day in the strength and confidence of the Spirit of God because you know that he is going before you. Dread is nothing more than the fear of what might happen. You're not there yet. So take care of your immediate concerns and trust God to give you the wisdom and the courage to succeed. To succeed, that he will make a way. Listen, I said earlier, we triumph always in Christ Jesus. Failure is not in his DNA is what this incredible prophet has said before amen prophet ken jackson and i'm telling you that is a truth failure is not in his dna in the name of jesus again if god so clothed the grass of the field which today is alive and tomorrow is thrown to the oven will he not much more clothe you O oh, you of little faith amen and can all of your worries add a single moment to your life in the name of jesus and that's why the scripture tells us, therefore, do not worry about your life, what you will eat, or about your body, what you will wear. But most importantly, seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be added to you. Therefore, don't be anxious about tomorrow. I implore you, for tomorrow will be anxious for itself. Amen. Sufficient for the day. It is its own trouble. But set yourself. Listen. Set yourself to live and walk in peace in the spirit of God. <clears throat> it is his spirit, amen, in you, moving in you, living in you, amen, that will allow you to walk in righteousness and peace and joy. There is no better way to live than that people of God. Enjoy the fruit of the spirit and being one with him. Do not worry. There is hope for tomorrow. We can accomplish nothing if we're worrying and if we're anxious. It's very clear the scripture says, do not be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your request be made known to God. Hallelujah. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your heart and your mind in Christ Jesus. Listen, this, manifest, this manifestation of God's peace is a reality. When you decide not to take worry, the Bible says you will keep, he will keep you in perfect peace whose minds are steadfast because they trust in you. Hallelujah. And his peace that he gives you, amen, his peace that he leaves with you, hallelujah, the world cannot give it to you. The world's peace is temporary. And that's why he says, do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid in the name of Jesus. You know, Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever, forever, and his word is eternally established. And when he tells you to cast all your cares upon him, for he cares for you, period, amen, that's what it means. And so subsequently, you don't have to fear because he's with you. You don't have to be dismayed is what the scripture says, for he is your God and he will strengthen you and he will help you and he will uphold you with his righteous right hand. Hallelujah. He is our hope in this hour, people of God. Hallelujah. And that's why we can say, you are my confidence in the name of Jesus. 
We can trust in the Lord with all of our heart. Amen. We don't have to lean on our own understanding. Just simply in everything that you do, in all of your ways, all of your ways. Amen. Acknowledge him and trust me, he will make straight your path in the name of Jesus. He will bring light to that situation for that momentary trouble that you are experiencing in the name of Jesus. And his glory, my God, today, his glory will far outweigh the trouble if you fix your eyes on him and not on what is seen. But we know that what is seen is temporary. But what is unseen is eternal in the name of Jesus. We are in the last hour of the church family, and we must be about doing the things that are pleasing to our Father. And if we are in the the mindset of worrying and being anxious, amen, and allowing the headlines and the news, the news, amen, to disturb our peace, and to make us worry wart, amen, to drive us to, to an insanity. And that's what the enemy wants to do because he knows if he takes your peace, what time do you have to even focus on your purpose? If he takes your peace, what, what time do you have on your identity in him or your relationship with him or the time that is needed to spend with him if you're worrying in the name of Jesus? And so we must be in this place and this mindset to want to please our God in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. He is bringing you out. You will witness your enemies. They will come before you one way, but flee before you seven ways is what the scripture says. Hallelujah. And let me tell you something. You are covered. You are protected under the wings of the Most High in the name of Jesus. If you will allow him to be God, not you, but him, hallelujah, let him be God. Let him be your father. He has given you the Holy Spirit who is our comforter, who is our advocate, who is our standby, my God, today, who is able to give us wisdom Amen, when we need it. It's able to give us instruction when we need it in the name of Jesus. We need to be God inside minded in this day. God's word, amen, is our final report. We don't believe the report of man, but we believe the report of the Lord. So put him in remembrance of his word because that's what we hold on to, not the report of men. But the report of our Father, his word, which is his testament, amen, which tells of his ability, hallelujah, and of his covenant with us. We are a spirit, we have a soul, and we live in this body. And our spirit, amen, lives in this natural world. But we have relationships with a power that is higher than us, and his name is Yeshua, amen. His name is Yahweh, my God. Glory to God. And he is able to be our Adonai. He's able to be our Rapha. He's able to be our Rose. He is able to be our Shalom. And he will sanctify you in every way. And hallelujah, your whole spirit, soul, and body will be kept blameless until the day when our Savior comes again. You have to and you can completely depend on him. You don't have to worry in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Allow God to lead you by his Holy Spirit. You are a child of God. You are born of the Spirit of God. You are filled with the Spirit of God and led by the Spirit of God. Listen to the Spirit of God inside of you who is constantly speaking to you if you will just listen, allow him to direct you. Allow him to illuminate your mind. Amen. Allow him to lead you in the way that you should go in all of your affairs. He will lead you by that inward witness. Hallelujah. And the eyes of 
of your understanding will be enlightened in the name of Jesus. Wisdom is in your inward parts, man of God, woman of God. Do not listen to the dictates of the world. The Father's way is perfect. My God. And it's been evidence 2,000 years ago. What other credibility do you need in the name of Jesus? And so I believe by the unction of the Holy One, by the unction of the Holy Spirit in this hour, he's just speaking to us, particularly the body of Christ. We need to listen to the voice of the Holy Spirit. Obey what the Spirit of the Lord is telling you. Hallelujah. Your spirit is controlled by the Holy Spirit. And he dominates you. He should be dominating you. He should be working through you, moving through you, showing up in you. Amen. For you do not walk after the flesh, but after the spirit. So examine your leading in the light of the word. Hallelujah. Trust him with all of your heart. Lean not to your own understanding. In all of your ways, acknowledge him. Allow him to direct your path. Walk in the light of the word. The Holy Spirit is your counselor. Again, he's teaching you. He's training you. He's developing your human spirit. Amen. And the word of God shall not depart out of your mouth. You will meditate there in day and night, and you will not have time to worry in the name of Jesus. And because of that, you will have good success. But you must be a doer of the word. And you must put the word first. You must seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Amen. You must put on the whole armor of God. Hallelujah. That is the only way they're going to be able to withstand in the evil, evil day. Amen. And having done all the scripture says that we stand. We have our loins girded about with the truth of the word. Amen. We have our weapons of our warfare. We know they're not carnal. They're mighty through God to the pulling down of every stronghold of worry and anxiety and distress, my God, today. Put on the breast of preparation of the gospel of peace in the name of Jesus. And in Christ Jesus, you have peace. Pursue peace with all men in the name of Jesus. Take the shield of faith, hallelujah, that you'll be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked one. Hallelujah. The darts of, no, you're not going to make it. No, you can't do it. No, you're not the one. The devil is a whole lie. Put on that helmet of salvation that holds the thoughts, feelings, and purposes of God's heart and the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God. And in the face of all of your your your, your trials, in the, in the face of all of your tests, in the face of all of your temptations, in the face of all of your tribulations, you will be able to cut the pieces of snare of the enemy in the name of Jesus. Glory to God. By speaking the word of God, the greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. That is a reality. Hallelujah. So just thank him. Thank him for the armor. Hallelujah. Pray at all times. On every occasion, in every season, in the spirit, hallelujah, with all manner of prayer, amen, and supplication. And you know what? When you do that, to that end, it will keep you alert. My God, it will keep you sober. It will keep you as a watchman with a strong perseverance, amen, strong purpose, glory to God, of all the things, because God's power and his ability and his sufficiency, amen, is on the inside of you, and you're not moving in your own strength, in the name of Jesus, and that is why you will have joy instead of misery, that is why you will have joy instead of worry, in the name of Jesus, that is why you will have victory, in the name of Jesus, because Satan will be under your feet, hallelujah, you will not be under his. You will not be moved by, you know, adverse circumstances in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Because you dwell in the kingdom of God. You are a kingdom citizen. Hallelujah. Listen, you are a kingdom ambassador of God. And you have peace and you have joy in the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. You you keep hearing me say, in the Holy Spirit, if you're outside of that posture, of course you're going to be contending with worry and anxiety, my God, today, and distress. But 
you that is not your portion. You have been delivered from sin. You have been redeemed from the curse. Amen. And that is all part of the curse, people of God. Glory to God. And so you rejoice because you've been delivered. You rejoice because Christ indeed has set you free, made you free. Hallelujah. You're no longer a victim, but a victor in the name of Jesus. You are a joint heir, part of a royal priesthood in the name of Jesus. And that's why you can say that I am his beloved. I know that my father cares for me. I know that my father has my back. Hallelujah. And not only that, he has assigned angels to watch over you in all of your ways. They have been assigned to your purpose. Glory to God. Listen, you got help. You are not in this alone. And that just excites me to know that, that my father has my back. Hallelujah. So I don't have to be overwhelmed. I don't have to be subjected to worry. I don't have to be subjected to distress or the headlines of, you know, what the world is saying I don't have or that I'm not or that I'm not capable of. Let me tell you, you need to start listening to what the Spirit of the Lord has said about you. Amen? That is your reality. Not what the world is saying. Amen? Not the world's report. And I just recently had a, a situation where that had to become a reality even to me in my walk. Amen? We have to walk the talk. And if this is not real to me, then how can I possibly convey it in such a way that it becomes real to you? We throw off the spirit of heaviness. We throw off the spirit of worry in the name of Jesus and exchange it for a garment of praise in the name of Jesus. You don't carry that. It's no longer yours in Jesus' name. So I just thank the Father, hallelujah, for singing this word on today. I pray that it has encouraged you in some way. The life and nature of God within you in the name of Jesus. I pray that those that are under the sound of my voice now and now and on even on the later on the rebroadcast will experience a manifestation of his presence as they listen to the word of God going forth in Jesus' name. The word of God says, Now may the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing. Believe and receive the word that has been released over this platform in this hour, that you may abound in hope by the power of the Holy Spirit in Jesus' name. Well, this is your host, Apostle P.D. Westbrook, amen, along with our producer, Dr. Kimmy Robinson. We want to say thank you again for stopping by for another Shabbat Saturday. Glory to God. And I pray the Lord will continue to bless you indeed, that he will continue to enlarge your borders and territories in the mighty name of Jesus. And listen, all of you, please. Come back next Saturday at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for another Shabbat Saturday at this great station, Elations Radio. I'm wishing you a great rest of your day. And Dr. Kimmy Kim, our producer, thank you for your example. May the Lord God continue to use you, great woman of God. Now, please close us out. Shalom, everyone. I love you. Come on and give it on up. Yeah. Y'all ready? Give up, come say away.